Hello everyone, my name is Amaka and I am currently an undergraduate student at Northwestern University and I am just making my way into my third year and over the summer I'll be um, working as an intern at the company and yeah I'm glad and I'm excited to be here speaking with everyone so I hope everyone enjoys the video. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and if you're just joining by for the first time, you're most definitely welcome. My name is Chiwendu and I'm so excited to be having this sub this series with everyone, right? And in this series, we talk with um, people who are professionals in the tech space as well as people who are, who are looking to advance into or get into tech actually, right? So when it comes to careers around software engineering, data analysis, right? So data analytics, data sciences, mobile development, right? And also things around even DevRel as well too. So if you're interested with things like this where you can learn one or two things regarding how to even land a job in a top tech company or even how to even get started in tech in entirety, this is the video and this is the channel for you, right? And I'm so excited to also have an amazing personality. I think as I go on, you understand what I mean, right? Because you get to hear and learn from her as well. So she's someone who's acing her academics. She's a young lady, attends a very good school, acing academics and also even just secured like a really good internship in the top tech firm as well. So, so guys, with all excitement and you know with the joy in me, I would love to introduce my very special personality in here. I think she actually do the introductions herself. So over to you please. Okay, hello everyone. My name is Amaka and I am currently an undergraduate student at Northwestern University and I am just making my way into my third year and like she said over the summer I'll be working as an intern at a company I guess and yeah I'm glad and I'm excited to be here speaking with everyone so I hope everyone enjoys the video yeah sure thank you so much Maka, for introducing yourself it's so nice to have you here before we go on i think in terms of even like try to understand how you secure your job right which is a major theme can you tell us um okay what are you currently studying in school at the moment okay Sorry. um i am currently a computer science major and i also decided to take up a minor data science and engineering as well just because i feel like they both work well together and basically visualize data with data science while computer science gives me like the actual coding part of it so I felt like it would be a nice combination and I decided to take it up after I decided to pursue a major in computer science so okay um so like in terms of I mean I know growing up I'm not sure what, what like what inspired you to actually go into computer science like why did you decide to like study computer science okay well anytime someone asks me that question I always reply that it's what makes sense to me so mm -hmm. I like to think that I am a logical person like the way I think maybe more logical than emotional I would say <laughs> and well <laughs> and yeah so the first time I was exposed to computer science I felt like the whole mix of conditions giving rise to a result it made sense like if this happens mm. something else should follow mm -hmm. so I felt like oh okay if this is how a computer thinks and it's kind of the way I think as well so you know things just clicked and yeah it was just I just began exploring it i think i've liked what i've seen so far in terms of like the courses you have to take do you think you actually like faced any challenge and right now are you like really doing like computer science programming at the moment or just like doing bits and pieces of let's say some sciences some arts courses what's it like for you i think, I think the mix would like was in my first year because okay. you're required to have a breath courses but then as time went on, I began to specialize in actual, like, the, the meat of computer science. And um, I, I don't think I have gotten too deep in any one of the topics yet. So okay. I'm still getting the breadth of computer science. But there have been challenges. So yeah, I definitely. <laughs> <laughs> there have been. And it's like one of those things where you feel like, well, you wonder if it gets easier. I would say that. Mm. But sometimes you have to let your passion 
to keep you in it because <laughs> I've tried. Yeah, yeah, because like I, I don't think anyone promised me that it would be easy. It's just like how you keep going and what exactly the goal is for you. Yeah, at least that's what I think about. So yeah, that's yeah, true. Yeah, they have the challenges, of course. Okay, so um, how about like do you have like any program language I like, or have you used any program language like you that using like maybe mobile apps or like web apps at the moment? Yeah, I think if you had asked me that like a few months ago, I would have said C++, but not because I like it, not because I like it, just because I built a couple of things with it for like projects and assignments and it was what I had gained the most experience on at that time. So currently, it's, it will still have to be Python. I mean, Python is like, it's not easy, it's just simple. I think mm. that's how to describe it. <laughs> and it, I think it, it's less complex than C++ in my opinion. And it's easier to assimilate and understand, especially for someone who's starting out. So, um, if I was looking for a new programming language, it's Python that I would recommend. So, Python. Yeah, I actually think like I think that Python is closer to the human language yeah. as compared to like any other programming language, from my own point of view. Yeah. So it's almost like, like you said, it's easy but it's not simple. It's, it's simple. It's simple. I think not it's simple easy, to yeah. learn, but like it's just like any other programming language. It makes out the there most sense. Yeah, actually, right. Actually, now to like the crux of the question, like to the main point of the question, right? How did you secure an internship in a top tech company? And what position is it? You don't, yeah. It's I, it's a software engineering internship. Um, to answer the second one first. And the how, to be honest, I feel like anything I say would be research I've done for myself. So it's basically an accumulation of the things I've found on how to prepare. So I think the first or one of the most important things would be to make sure that you apply early. That's like, when when I heard it so many times, I thought people were overplaying it, but like, it, it really is true. Applying early gives you a greater chance. Yeah. And the pool is like, and you, you aren't yeah. competing with so many people when you apply early. Yeah. And um, that's one of the things I'd say. Um, I didn't do that because like this year for me was just to understand how the whole system worked and I feel like I'm better prepared now um, mm -hmm. for next year's cycle so mm. everything I'm saying is basically for myself too so to apply early and to make sure that you um, use the network you built yeah. over the years because some opportunities are in people not that you use people but like mm, having that's a nice one. like speaking to people yeah. and asking them what they know can help you see the opportunities that you might not see by um so that's another thing to be aware of and then obviously prepare um if i'm speaking it would be from a software engineering perspective okay. where you have to <laughs> lead code oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> you have to lead code obviously because you're most likely it's going to be asked to code on the spot like live coding right? interview. and even online assessments as mm -hmm. well so you want to be prepared for that and I also got to find out that your coding is kind of just part of it how you explain your code and your thought process also helps you shouldn't be coding without taking your interviewer along mm -hmm. try to explain why you're doing certain things in certain ways try to voice out some things you're unsure about in case the interviewer might help to nudge you in the right direction mm -hmm. too and kind of like a side piece of advice try to like don't kind of think an interview went badly or it went well based on how the whole meeting wow. ended sometimes okay. it doesn't work that way sometimes they're, they're looking for like someone who fits in their team or they're looking for who you are as a person more mm -hmm. than like what you bring because a lot of people can code a lot of people can build things but sometimes it's your personality that kind of That's locks the deal yeah yeah and that, wow. that could also be on the flip side so you might code very well and like pass all the test cases and everything but they wouldn't still like give you the job it's just it's it's not you it's, it's just that they're looking for something specific so i try to tell myself not to worry about whether it went well or not until i get the email so mm. that's another thing just just avoid the head yeah and just say and um i think those are the top main tips am i missing anything? well yeah i was also going to ask like in terms of like prepping for the cvs prepping for your interviews as well so did you have to use like cover letters website you used to apply as well to was there like a specific job that your school had for people who were students and going to get internships right or what was it like for you 
Okay. okay, let's start from CVs. I cover letters and then. Okay, resumes. Okay. Resumes, okay. Resume, yeah. So I I didn't have much experience putting a resume together before this year, just because I hadn't applied to anything prior. But mm-hmm. I think the whole setup for me was again just like a bunch of googling that I, I can't even like Google guys. Then, Google. <laughs> and watching videos like this as well also helped like people who have walked this path and about to walk. And I think I I didn't do anything fancy for my resume. I did. I think I used Canva. Canva. <laughs> I, I, well, okay. yeah. I, I, yeah. It, I think I guess you can make it whatever you want. But I decided not to do it so much because mm-hmm. at the end of it all, it's 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 just like the means and end. It's not your resume. That's the whole thing. So you can spend as much as little time as you want, but. It, you need to make sure all your relevant experiences are kind of highlighted so don't leave it for later you need to make sure that experiences or your projects that you've built mm-hmm. like make them bulk of your resume and then things like oh where you went to school or yeah like people don't even really care about gpa <laughs> nowadays so right you don't have to put your gpa like at the top wow. but yeah wow. at, so i've heard I, I still put my own at the top but that's that's just what i've heard wow well, but th- those are just some tips i found when i was prepping for your, my resume together. together okay yeah but do you have like also use cover letter because i feel like right now cover letters from my point of view yeah, i don't know what I, you think i didn't like really see i saw i saw a few applications that required them but okay. i think those are when i saw those are actually the yeah, application <laughs> you like what's the cover letter that I cannot find in the resume? Yeah, I felt like hmm, I guess it's different for different people, but even most people I've spoken to, they were able to get an internship without a cover letter. So I guess it just depends on the company or if you have the oh, yeah, time to write true. one. I don't know how relevant they are now. Yeah. I can't speak to that because I haven't like I haven't been in the position to employ someone. So do you like have like a portfolio where you had like a li- list of your projects you worked on? Prior to this internship, no. So when I applied okay. to this one, I didn't. For the process, for the internship I have right now, we were even required to make like a portfolio, like a website okay. or something like that. Not too fancy, just something that shows or displays your achievements. And okay. for that, I had to create one. And yeah. it's not really like my official portfolio type thing. So I would say no, I didn't have to create a portfolio. Oh, oh wow. Okay. Wow.